Greetings, this is Colin. I know it's been a while, but I'm back with the Dragon's Heart Guitar Picks Torture Test, pitting these guys up against other popular guitar pick brands to see if they are as tough as they claim to be. Last time we looked at stress, heat and chemical testing and in all of those tests the Dragon's Heart guitar picks came out top. But what we really want to know is how good are these things against abrasion? Fast pick wear can be a really frustrating problem for a lot of guitarists and Dragon's Heart guitar picks are trying to get around about that problem by making their picks out of a material called polyamide amide which is an aerospace thermoplastic with a very high abrasion resistance and a low coefficient of friction. Now what that means for guitar picks of course is that they will glide across the strings while picking up minimal abrasive damage meaning these things will last a lot longer than your conventional guitar picks. Now, by far the most requested abrasion test was pick slides, so let's get into that first. So pick slides, or pick scrapes, whatever you want to call them, is putting the edge of the pick onto the strings and running it down the entire length of the string to give you that sound there. So what I'm doing is taking each pick and running it down the length, whole length of the strings um, quite a few times, and I'm applying a lot of pressure, far more pressure than you would doing this sort of thing for real. The Everlast surprised me a little bit by standing up particularly well to this. You can see the indentations and the bite marks, um, but it stood up better than I thought it would. So on to the Jazz 3. I found pick sliding with the Jazz 3 to be a little trickier than with the other picks. Um, I think the plastic keep wanting to slide away from me and, and wasn't really making much purchase, maybe because of its size and shape. Um, but I didn't find that pick slides were particularly easy or good sounding. Damage wise, the pick plastic seems to distort more than it does um, actually be uh, abrased. Um, but you can see the gnarled edges there. So gravity is up next and it was actually quite nice to do the pick slides with and gave a uh, very good sound. Uh, again, applying a lot more pressure here than you would doing a standard pick slide. So this is over a few strokes would do the same damage as a lot of pick slides. What was interesting with the gravity is it cut deep grooves, but only a couple of deep grooves, so I must have been hitting in the exact same place every time, um, but deep, deep grooves into the gravity, so the strings just ate through that no problem at all. On to the chicken picks then, we worked out before that the chicken picks are a very hard but brittle material, but I suspect that that will put them in good stead here when I'm using the edge along the length of the strings. It definitely gave a good sound, it was very easy to do pick slides with, so recommend these if you're doing lots of pick slides. Also, uh, the damage was absolutely negligible, you can see three little semicircular indents there, but nothing to write home about at all. Again, over standard pick slides, it's going to do pretty much nothing to these picks. And finally, a Dragon's Heart pick. Now, this is the Dragon's Heart Pure, so purely polyamide amide, nothing else mixed in. I think I'm going to be using pures mostly in this video, although there is a hardened one later on. Um, so I'm digging in exceptionally hard here in the strings. Again, normal pick slides are nowhere near this hard. I'm trying to get some damage onto this pick because I know it's going to stand up to it. And as you can see, just maybe if you just look closely enough, you can see two tiny little indents on that pick. And that was all the damage that it took. So it stood up better than the chicken picks, although the chicken picks did exceptionally well on their own. So one of those two picks, if you're doing pick slides, even Dragon's Heart or the chicken picks, a really good shout. Now, a lot of people said that if the Dragon's Heart could stand up to aggressive pick slides, then they would buy one. Well, here is your proof. It's taken pace, basically no damage at all. So Dragon's Heart is the winner here. Tremolo picking was another very popular suggestion. Uh, picking very, very fast for an extended period of time was what a lot of people wanted to see happen. So I've got my phone here and the phone has a timer set on it. So I'm going to pick really fast for a minute or two with each pick. And I've speeded up the process here so you don't have to watch minutes and minutes and minutes of um, fast picking. So I started with the Everlast and didn't really see uh, very much damage after a couple of minutes. Um, so I did it again with the Jazz 3 here. And um, again, with the fast picking, a couple of minutes, there wasn't very much to show at the end of it, not much damage. It would have to be extended out over a lot longer, I think, before we would start to see the wear damage. But um, that's very tiring in the wrists, so we're going to try something a little different. Any fans of Paul Gilbert will know exactly what I'm going to be doing with this. Essentially, I've drilled a hole through three picks. There's a Gravity Razor, a Hardened Dragon's Heart, and a Jazz 3. Put this bolt through and super glued them together, and we're going to chuck them up into the electric 
drill. So this will spin very, very fast, and all three of these picks will hit the strings in succession. You can hear here the three picks hitting the strings and they increase the speed of the drill. How that sounds, very, very fast picking. So I went through the boring process of sitting there for what seemed like forever um, with the electric drill on these strings. Now these are cl the clear tone, I think they've got to 70 gauge strings, the very thick ones. Um, so I decided just to take my time and make sure I was getting this for a good while. And after, after several minutes, um, I started to see something interesting happen. And that interesting thing um, was white flakes appearing all over the guitar. So when I stopped the drill to check out what was going on, this is what I found. The gravity razor had completely obliterated itself. I mean, it stood up well um, for a good few minutes before this happened. So I'm not quite sure what caused the sudden um, disintegration of the pick. But if we look at the other ones, the... Jazz 3 has a relatively small amount of wear, I mean, what you'd expect after maybe a few hours of playing with it, um, and the Hardened Dragon's Heart has pretty much nothing at all. Now, this is a bit of an unfair test, I think, because the way it's orientated because of the thickness of the picks, the Gravity Razor was the closest to the strings at the angle that I was using um, the drill at. So it was probably hitting the strings a good bit harder than the other two picks were and was receiving um, more wear. So um, I think maybe it was unfair to the gravity on that one. Now we're going to do some uh, different abrasion trials now starting with carpet. Carpet has the wonderful ability to be abrasive enough to sharpen a rounded pick like this. So after just a few strokes on either side of the pick following the line of the tip we can resharpen that end and you can see a nice sharp end on this pick now. But that's just one of these standard plastic picks and um, all the picks that I've got in the tests are a good bit tougher than these. And after several minutes of carpet destroying rubbing going on here, not one of the picks in this trial showed any sign of being blunted by the carpet. In fact, some of them just looked like they'd uh, been polished up a little bit, which I'm disappointed about. I was hoping that if it could sharpen a pick, the carpet could blunt it as well. But looks like we're going to have to do something a little bit more extreme. So to that end, I've got the picks out in the bright sunshine and we're going to do some sandpaper testing. So I've got adhesive sandpaper here, it's 220 grit and it's going straight on to the workbench. And we're going to give six strokes to each of these picks and see what sort of damage it does. So we're going right on the tip here, as you can see with the Everlast. A little bit unfair in the picks, I think, actually, because... Um, in a playing situation, you wouldn't wear them in this direction. Um, but we're just going to see how well the materials stand up. The Everlast, as you can see, feathered out a bit, but that's standard. We're expecting it to do that. Jazz 3, on the other hand, was um, surprised me a little bit. It kept trying to slip out of my hand. It didn't ever feel like it was contacting the sandpaper properly. So it was trying to reject the sandpaper rather than be abrased by it. And you can see very little damage to the tip there, um, just right on the point is gone. So well done Jazz 3. The gravity just looked far too nice, I didn't really want to do this with it, but after the first two strokes it then started to really wear with the sandpaper. As soon as the sandpaper got a purchase, um, it started to flatten down. Not a huge amount of damage I suppose, but still plenty. The chicken picks were very interesting in this test. As you can see, they draw very definite sharp white lines. It was almost like writing with chalk, um, and it's abrased very smoothly. That's a very smooth edge on it. And straight to the dragon's heart now. Um, six strokes. Again, this resisted it a bit better than the chicken picks and the gravity, but still succumbed to the sandpaper. And we can see the flattened tip there. Not to the same extreme as the gravity or the chicken pick, but still, still damaged. But we want to go further than this. And that's why we've got the Orbital Sander, the Black & Decker mouse here um, to do damage to these picks. I think it's a 120 grit sandpaper that I've put on this. And as you can see, um, it's flattened down the Everlast pretty quickly. We're given five seconds, five seconds to each pick on the Orbital Sander. The Jazz 3, rather than um, just abrasing, more melted with the quick movement of the sandpaper and you can see there's a piece of red plastic stuck to the sandpaper there as well as this little melted section that's um, quite tough and in place there. 
The gravity, again, not standing up as well as I hoped it would. Um, you can see large flecks flicking off from the underside of the sandpaper there. Um, these are thicker picks now than the, the previous ones, so the damage may not look so pronounced, but it is um, still significant amount of damage. The chicken picks, as soon as the sandpaper hit it, there was white dust everywhere. Again, very chalk-like, very, very chalk-like in the way that the chicken picks um, shreds up under abrasion, but very smooth result, a very smooth uh, flat sloping surface, so it's a strange, very strange material. And the dragon's heart now, this again is the pure dragon heart, so just polyamide, amide, and the sandpaper on the orbital sander does quite a number on it, although not as much, not as pronounced damage as what we've seen on the, the other picks, although still again um, fairly significant. Now, abrasion isn't the only challenge facing these Dragon's Heart guitar picks. Some people have suggested some other, more devious contests that will put these Dragon's Heart picks to their ultimate test. Unfortunately, many of us know the sting of being stood up at a dinner date. It's not easy, and if the Dragon's Heart can cope with this really awful test, then it will be the toughest of picks. So I helped it get set up for its romantic dinner with what I promised it to be a very sexy V-pick, although she was never to show. So after all that time, I'm afraid the poor dragon's heart had its little heart broken. Not the toughest pick after all. Make it play Dark Souls, you sick, twisted people. I've got the Prepare to Die edition here on PlayStation 3 and the dragon's heart picks are going to give it their best shot despite their tiny size. I'm sure they'll be able to press all the buttons on the controller. So they start off on the main menu screen. They'll get past that, no problem. So this game can't be that tough. Created a character, which you're never going to see again. That's pretty cruel game, pretty cruel indeed. And we can get into the quest proper. Bonfires? <laughs> They're for pussies. And after only about eight hours of gameplay, they seem to have got quite far. Is there anything left? Is there anything left from this destruction? And it lives! The dragon's heart gets a pick lives! It is the toughest pick, after all! Now that's all for these Dragon's Heart guitar picks for now. Hopefully you'll see why I think these things are so much better than other guitar picks. And if you do like them, remember you can go across to the Dragon's Heart guitar picks website, check them out, and even maybe buy some for yourself. Now, if you do decide to stick a few into your basket, you can use this discount code here to get 10% off your total purchase. A very generous offer to you, my viewers, from the guys at Dragon's Heart Guitar Picks. Now, as always, if you like this video, you can click on that subscribe button and see all the content that I'm bringing out in the future. Also available on all those social media, and you can leave a comment in the comments section below, under here, somewhere down there, and you can talk to me in that way. But that is it for the snow, and if you guys would like to take care and keep it loud, I'll see you later.